the time has come, I think, to, to sort out this this oil leak from the uh, the rocker cover. Um, yeah. Okay, so to get this rock cover off, I've had to take off the tank, the uh, bash plate underneath, exhaust off the uh, the right hand side, car pressure off, obviously. Um, oil return pipe, the oil return pipe up here, back to the frame tank. Um, I'd take that off, otherwise you can't get to the head steady bolt, head steady itself, and I've taken the compressor off, decompressor bracket off as well. That came off without the uh, engine being out of the frame, but you could leave it on and take it off afterwards. Um, chain, you need to take the chain off, and uh, the front engine bolt obviously, and the horn comes off at the same time in my case, and the lower engine bolt, rear engine bolt from the back of the gearbox, then the right hand engine plate at the back here that needs to come off completely and the left hand plate at the back i just took the bolts out at the top slacken the bolts at the bottom and then you can tip that um, engine plate back out of the way primary breather tube that came off by itself in my case but um, better if i'd taken it off in the first place and then having done all that the engine should lift up and uh, over, tilt it over and get to the, the head. Obviously you could remove the head and barrel at this stage. Um, but it's avoided taking off the clutch, clutch cable still attached, um, all the electrics still attached, in other words the alternator and the points and so on, um, or the electronic ignition in my case, and the um, all the oil pipes are still attached underneath. The flexible rubber hoses are just flex slightly to let it tilt over otherwise that's it so now the engine tipped over i can get at the, the rocker box I, I did wonder whether this decompressor spindle was leaking i don't know what the sealing arrangement is on that I mean, there's no sign this is obviously wet around here on the the top fin there's no sign that this shaft is is wet it's probably not leaking there. I think it must be the, the gasket face. Anyway, I'll have to get these off if I can. Okay, so there we are. Yeah, difficult to tell. I mean, this is it's dry around here, the gasket. Very wet here, but that's probably just where it's just cracked open. Although, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it could be this gasket, couldn't it? Dry around here. I can't remember what other, what um, compound I put on here. If anything, by the looks of it, this looks... Well, the gasket is split there. Half of it's here and half of it's here. So maybe it's just a dodgy gasket. Got to see on either side and be leaking through the paper, maybe. I don't know. Again, that's not very likely either, is it? But uh, I think I'm going to put it back without a gasket. Just use well seal, as um, Rupert Ratio suggests. Let's see how that goes. I'll have a look at this uh, valve lifter seal as well, if indeed there is one, a seal that is. Check that all the parts are there as they should be according to the manual. Okay, so this clamps up quite nicely in the vise, obviously copper jaws, so there's the flat there for the inspection hole, and then these two um, acorn nuts. So I'm using this uh, square, which has got nice, thick, straight steel um, edge. So you can get this absolutely flat and just get this gasket off. Yeah, no, that is flat near enough. Can't see any daylight under there at all.
Okay, so I'm going to block up this uh, bushrod tunnel just to make sure I don't get any crud down there while I scrape up this gasket. So scraping off this gasket, there's an area here which is um, very loosely attached and also potentially over here, maybe not, but here definitely looks as if oil could have been getting under there. And this again here looks it's uh, just comes off so rather too easily. It hasn't been stuck down with any well seal. I'm not even sure why I put any well seal on. I'll, uh, I'll check back at the previous video. That's one of the reasons for making these videos. So I've cleaned out the cleaned off the face of this pretty well. And this uh, nine mil drill is just about the right size to clean out these holes as well. It's a pretty good fit actually. I'm not sure what imperial size that corresponds to. But yeah, that's pretty much bang on. Clear out the uh, um, sealant that's in there and uh, any other sort of crud, gasket material, whatever. So I'll do this for all the holes. So I've got these um, PES valve caps, sorry for inspection caps, which um, I lost one of them and so 3D printed a temporary replacement, but I eventually got these PES ones, which are nice because they've got a, an O-ring around the edge, so I don't need to mess around with the little fibre gasket. So when I first got this engine back on the road, I didn't bother to take out the, the rocker's arms or indeed the, the valve lifter. I think I'm going to do it this time. I don't think they're leaking, but um, I might as well make sure they're clean, make sure they're always are clear. And uh, so this one doesn't seem to be leaking, but I don't think it has a seal in it, but I'll, I'll take it off anyway and have a quick look. So yeah, that, that type of thing is okay. So it has indeed got the um, the O-ring in there, which does look pretty flat. Not much of an O cross section anymore. Uh, and sure enough, there's the, the oil hole here and here. So I'll just make sure that's clear. I've no reason to think that it isn't. And the uh, rock arm in here with the washers, there's a thrust washer there, I think, thrust washer there, and then the spring washer at this end. Let's see if that'll come out without flying everywhere. Let's try and get this lifter out. Okay, so there's a nut. A washer. The lever itself, which won't come off. Oh, there we go. Took a bit of doing. Oops. So I'm not sure that's splined by the looks of it. Or at least just got some sort of knurling on the inside. Okay, so that does just pull through. Oops, and there's a washer. Oh, there is an O-ring. Okay, so there's no ring there. Washer. I don't think that O-ring is in the parts manual. But it is obviously there. Uh, 
and that's come out now so so the thing that worries me and I should have made a note is that I may not be able to get the, uh, the lever back on at the right angle I should have made a note and no oh dear It'll be alright something on the edge there is that a bush yeah there's a steel bush pushed into there which just shows on this side but clearly isn't supposed to come out right okay it's interesting to see how that works I to wish I hadn't taken it out but at least I can replace the o-ring and hopefully get it back in the right orientation Okay, so that's everything cleaned up mostly. Uh, this uh, oil seal O-ring, I've taken this one out and, it, and it's crushed. I've got some new ones, which are these, which is just very different. So it's worth replacing those, even though they weren't leaking. But I've got to replace them, really. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. Uh, that's the in there. This is the exhaust side. A couple of other things. I mean, these are all cleaned up reasonably well. I've got a new O-ring for the uh, valve lifter but uh, so this is kind of interesting there's, there's definitely a witness mark there so I'm not sure what's going on there but um, whether the push rod is no, it can't be the push rod can it no idea uh, anyway the other thing is on this rocker shaft there's some distinct scoring there uh, not enough to need to replace it I don't think but uh, yeah, definitely something going on and uh, there as well looking in here there's nothing obvious maybe there is maybe there's some slight scoring you probably can't see on the camera but there is some scoring there I mean, I'll just uh, touch that with a bit of wet and dry just in case there's any bits still sticking up otherwise I'm gonna reuse that um, and uh, the other thing I guess was on this exhaust rocker again there's some witness marks here you can see it on the camera there's distinct rubbing going on there and here which is kind of weird it's just as if the uh, this spring perhaps has been against the, the rocker shaft rather than the thrust washer that's supposed to be there there's no sign of anything funny going on there so that's slightly peculiar. That one's not too bad. There's a bit of a high spot there, and this one is a nice circular wear pattern there, and pretty much the same this side. But yeah, I mean, like I say, what I'm going to use the bike for, that's that's absolutely fine. I'm not going to replace any of them. Um, so yeah, this is in tight. It's got its little oil hole in there same with this one so yeah good to go I think of course I've just realized what this little nick is here it's the uh, the valve lifter obvious when you look at it but uh, yeah makes sense <clears throat> so this is the exhaust end I used to go in first and then the valve lifter afterwards. So uh, got the challenge now of trying to get these various washers and so on all in place while putting in the, the rocker shaft. <clears throat> I use a bit of oil on these just to ease things through. See how that goes. I have some parallel pliers, so I'm going to try these and see if I can nip these together in a cluster. So there's the end of the spring. Okay, so that's pretty well 
grip together. I wonder if I can squeeze that in. So that works pretty well, but looks a bit. Okay, so that's worked pretty well. These this parallel ply trick. As well, much than I expected. I wonder how they did it in the factory. It'd be interesting to know, wouldn't it? Must have had some special tool or some sort of jig, I guess. Anyway, that's okay. Let's do the same with the other side. Okay, so this is the O-ring for the valve lifter which is uh, 5 sixteenths OD, 3 sixteenths ID, so it's 16th of an inch cross section. So that should go on there, I think. Try and get it over the splines on here without damaging it. Right, there we go. So the earring just fits inside the recess. Then this, no, this washer goes on, hold it into its little chamber. So there's the washer. Then I'm going to put this halfway round, like so. We've tried to work this out. That pulls that way, doesn't it? So I guess that being horizontal, then this should be that way around and slightly forward. So is that going to work? So with that forwards that is horizontal so then pulling it back should lift the valve that should be okay okay so stick this washer on I'm a bit worried about this because the uh, this boss here this catches that so I'm hoping that I've got that on the right spline so that that will actually lift the thing It certainly does lift it, but uh, yeah, not great. And I think that might be on the wrong spline. I think it needs to be one more spline removed from where it is now. I think when that's hard against the casting, that uh, flat should be horizontal but it isn't it goes just beyond horizontal so I need to move that back one spline uh, what a pain I'll try that okay so I think that's on the right spline we'll see I guess let's put some Loctite on here just to try and keep this nut on right, so I think that's all back together I thoroughly recommend a pair of parallel pliers to get those uh, springs and washers in. That, that's why it's treat made it dead easy. I got these off eBay or something, they're pretty cheap, uh, but work very well. Right, so I've got this sliding nicely up and down the studs on top of the head. 
and it slides up and down freely so I should be able to get it on smoothly and without uh, any crud dropping down through these holes which I've cleaned out as well. And the studs are all clean too. So my plan is to not use a gasket, I'm just going to use well seal which I suspect I might come to regret but uh, I'm going to give it a go anyway see what happens. Can't be any worse than it was. Uh, so yeah I'm going to put a, at least one coat on each side to start with and let it uh, settle down a bit, stiffen up as the uh, solvent evaporates off and do the same on the head. Hopefully when it uh, comes together it will seal properly. Because the other thing is whether the uh, rocker adjustment will still be able to account for the lack of a gasket, but I'm pretty confident it will. Right, so I've put some um, well seal on. I put one coat on, left it overnight, and then put a second coat on onto both sides and left it again for another uh, 12 hours or so, I guess. Um, so hopefully it's going to work. We shall see. I'm not entirely happy, but still. Um, push rods are in. Exhaust at the front, obviously, on the inside, and the red one. I've already cleaned all this up, loosened the tappets. Let's uh, see how this goes. So it's on. And... Uh, Plain washer and spring washer on all the studs. Got one spring washer missing here, which I think was missing where I started. I'll see if I can find one of those in a minute. Torque setting on these is eight foot pounds, which doesn't sound very much, but that's what the book says, so uh, I'll tighten them down to that and uh, progressively, and then probably take them off one at a time and put some Loctite on. So that's four foot pounds for a start. Right. That's everything at eight foot pounds. Just back this off. Another thing I've done is, is get hold of one of these PES uh, covers for the uh, the uh, rocker push rods inspection port. So that's the original. This is the uh, the PES one. So my plan. In terms of seeding it, obviously there's normally there's a paper gasket, which is a bit naff really. Um, I'm going to try this. This is just a bit of um, closed cell polyurethane foam. I don't know, it's neoprene, I think. Anyway, I'll uh, cut a piece of that out, glue it onto this, and then hopefully that will just uh, seal nicely against the, the rocker box. I don't know whether it's just going to stem the heat and the oil, but well, it should do, I think. We'll give it a go anyway. If it doesn't work, I'll think again. Okay, so that foam is now stuck on the back. Just poke the screw through. So there'll be a seal on that thread as well, slightly at least. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Good, so all back together apart from the side panels. I'll put those on later once I've got it started and checked there aren't any oil leaks. Um, the little PS cap is on with its neoprene flat sheet seal. See how that works out. Broke off the oil that's got onto the wrap on the exhaust, but um, so I'm living up here, so so far so good. I'll take it out for a run, get it properly hot, and uh, 
hopefully that's fixed the leak but we'll see thanks for watching